Have you ever wondered what goes into designing a new cocktail? Well, over the weekend, we had a meetup with some bartenders to shoot some videos of their new creations. So I thought it'd be cool to get an inside look on the process of how they go about coming up with these new drinks. I'm Michelle with The Best Drink Ever, and let's get it started. Oh, hug it out. Hug it out. There's some pebbles too. Crushed ice. Oh, nice. Damn. Oh. It's so clear. <laughs> We got so much different ice. Uh, is it starting? How are we, how are we doing this? Oh, have you made a cocktail? So Basically. So yeah. we'll, we'll do the you making the cocktail just all the way through. Yeah, and then we'll do the interview afterwards. I wanted to do something with mezcal. So I used Yola mezcal. Instead of salt, I, did, I also added pepper this time. So it's uh, Yola mezcal, chinar, Carpana antica. A little bit of house-made simple syrup, fresh blood orange juice, one and a half ounces, shake, strain into a Collins glass with ice, garnish with a little salt and a little black pepper. Ski ski! <laughs> The uh, Now Head South Augie. This is inspired by a Death and Company drink. I did a take on the Augie march for them uh, with Reposado that called Head West. Ta -da! Cheers, guys. Let's try it out. <sighs> <laughs> what do you think? On point. Mm. What are you making for us today? Oh, I'm making the uh, a Mediterranean inspired cocktail with Fernet Branca. Ooh. Hey, your saffron box? Uh, some saffron, baby. Damn. Yeah. I mean, I use it in the orgeat here. I make a saffron orgeat. Uh -huh. So you're going to get it, you're going to get the flavor in there, but it doesn't really affect the color of the drink too much. And then I'm going to garnish it with the saffron over the top, which is actually. That's cool. Gives this really nice nose to the whole thing. Yeah. Which is super important for a good cocktail. All right. <laughs> you ready? So? Okay. We're going to get it started. So Fernet Branca is like, people love it or they hate it. They love it or they hate it. And you don't hear anything in between, right? So my goal with this one cocktail is to make something that like people who have never had Fernet Branca before, or if they have had it and they hate it, they're still gonna like it within this cocktail structure, right? Without sacrificing the integrity of the, the, the spirit or anything like that. But also, I wanna work the Mediterranean flavors. The cocktail itself is structured with saffron orgeat, with, with rose water and like all these other Mediterranean flavors in there. Then they have lemon juice, grapefruit juice, and a fernet branca. Shake it up with egg white and you sprinkle some saffron over the top. It takes a really polarizing Amaro and turns it into something super palatable that people wouldn't even know they're actually tasting for now. Like people who taste for now hate the stuff who actually like this cocktail. That's that. Cool. Let's get a drink. Yeah. Sorry. I'll see you with the bronca case. Wait, hold on. Put your hand out like you're touching the That's right, baby. <laughs> Oh, so pretty! Last year's uh, oh, Fernet Olympics. Pretty. What's the name? <laughs> Draw what do you call it? <laughs> oh, yeah, we were talking about What do you think? That. Fernet about it, bro. Fernet Delicious. Fernet. Diving in. <laughs> what do you think? Bomb. Very bomb. Do I got a stash? <laughs> nah, nah, you're good. <laughs> so many cameras. You're like celebrity stash right now. There's paparazzi on you. Look at this. I'm trying to do like a like a profile. We well, gotta lay on the floor. You have to like face tube. Paparazzi, motherfucker. Face tube, new service. I'm gonna run through a couple things here. So let's see. Lemon juice. Mm -hmm. 
I haven't tested this because I don't know how sweet it actually is. What is it? It's, no, no, as far uh, as like one... in a cocktail. Oh. oh. Yeah. It, the way I made it, it was not one on one. It was less than one on one. Is that simple syrup? No, that's honey. Honey? Um, so it was like a cup of honey. How much, how much uh, honey and how much water? A cup of honey and about half a cup of water. Okay, so you're looking at a two to one. Okay. Two to one. Yeah, yeah. I usually do a three to one on a yeah. honey, but this yeah. that, that's fine. I'll, that'll work with, uh, the, with okay. the lavender. Yeah, okay. Miller. So when I got it, that's, yeah. that's the thing. When I got it, I was like, this it might be another gin. Oh, I like this gin. It's a really good gin. <laughs> This guy, tentatively being called the man bun. So it's a gin-based cocktail. Some lemon juice, fernet branca, to give it some, some depth and bitterness and a little bit of herbaceousness. There's a lavender honey mix. This drink actually came about when I was hanging out in Highland Park once. And I noticed there was a lot of gin drinkers and a lot of fernet branca drinkers. And so I kind of put the two together and I was like, this weird little like hipstery drink that I, or, or I shouldn't say hipstery, but it, yeah, basically in that in that sense. And that's why I figured I'd call it man bun because it's like a hipster thing to have. So I'm like already like putting myself in that category. <laughs> that's cool. All right. So, yeah. Yeah, it has the <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I'm not used to doing this in front of a camera. <laughs> like, it's it's so weird. Can you try it? Can you try it? Go ahead. Yeah. I have no idea how it tastes, so... Yeah, right? That's what I'm thinking. Too. What I'm how bad thinking. is it? It's bearable. <laughs> oh, man. I would drink that all day. That's so good. Mm. You really taste it for men, bro. Well, so that's what we got. Jason, good work, man. <laughs> what do you make it for us? All right, we're gonna do a another egg cocktail. Ooh. This is gonna be with some absolute. Elips. Is this for a drink? It's about a beer. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it is. Oh, okay. Okay. That's cool. He makes a beautiful drink. He We can use one. I know. I forgot it. Man. Indiana Jones hat. It, it was a rough night. I'll just win. Easy. Easy is the name. Yeah, we need G easy. Is there? I don't oh, can see... you grab the wooden one in that um, black yeah, like that. bag like at the song? end, what right by the Fernet Bronco? G easy. He's an artist, but oh, it's an artist. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're calling this G Easy only because I was making this cocktail while G Easy was on. Basically, it's kind of a riff on the last word. We had chartreuse, we have the absolute elites, simple syrup, fresh lime juice. We put some fresh cucumber in there, muddled that, and also use an egg. And then I garnished it with an orchid because orchids are just beautiful. And that's it. Enjoy, guys. I'm calling this, uh, <laughs> um, this is called, <clears throat> it's gonna need more sunlight for now. <laughs> We're That's this, what it's uh, called, it's just a sound. <laughs> <laughs> this is called, uh, <laughs> This is not a test. This is called, uh, this is called. <laughs> this is called. This is called. This is called. This is called. No, I, um, we'll come up with a name here. Let's try it first. This is fun. Oh. <laughs> well, this drink is just called G-Easy now? Uh, yeah, G-Easy. Yeah, All right. <laughs> How is it? They're brand new, right? Solid? Uh, yeah. yeah. I really like it. It's so light. I'm in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> 
Got some Brazilian. Uh, got some yeah. Yeah. You just, you just pepping, petting the puppy. Uh, I wanted. I was gonna do a little mascot. <laughs> See, to the left. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to the new bar and he wouldn't shake the alcohol and he just poured it on top. But every drink came with a puppy garnish. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> so, so we couldn't complain. Oh, are you ready? I'm just going ready. I'm all right. All right. <laughs> So for this drink, I was experimenting at home, like so often, what goes together and what usually doesn't go together, like herb scent and rose syrup. You know, I was just messing around and it turned out really nice. <laughs> so herb scent, rose syrup, gin. At the end, I put some geranium mist on top, just to give the, the upfront nose before you drink. So what is that? It's a uh, geranium bitters. Okay. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> like one person in each side of the bar. Yeah, why? Well, I, I would like set up some whatever rules, like ingredient rules, whatever. I would love to like do that. Two people, like two drinks, fast. You know what I mean? Like, I love that. Let's get everybody once on the. Thing, I, you know, I, let's I, start I, playing around. And get I, I love the idea. Cool. I love the idea of like I was saying. I was telling you this. Like, like I turn my back. And you guys put four ingredients out. Mm. And I have yeah. like two minutes to make make a cocktail for some along those oh, lines. Oh, that's yeah. awesome! Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's a bar max signature. You gotta get a shot. Mm -hmm. I don't want to like <laughs> crash your party. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. How is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. I love that. Shot. <laughs> what I'm gonna make? Uh, a drink. <laughs> a drink. That I, that I, <laughs> my man is making us a drink, dog. This is this is black, black man blushing. 2018. <laughs> what were you thinking? We're gonna make a drink called Johnny Be Good. No. It's my drinks, my submission for the USBG World Class competition. Oh, so that's cool. Man. I'm gonna be having you guys taste testers. Give me notes. Got some Johnny Walker. And Johnny Walker Black is gonna be a maze balls. Well, like your mixing glass. I like it, thank you. Damn ninja. I got a restraining order like three feet. He's gonna walk closer to me. Wait. Oh, we're filming right now. <laughs> Jason, we're filming. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. It's all good, man. I'm so sorry. That was hilarious. Oh, bloopers. <laughs> Who's this guy grabbing my glass? <laughs> all right, so this is the Johnny Be Good. It is my take on a Sazerac. We're using coffee-infused Johnny Walker Black, cinnamon-infused Peychaud Bitters, and we're using mesquite-infused Simple Syrup. Charging it with nitrous is equivalent to letting something sit in liquor for like a couple days or even weeks. Oh, it's gonna get caught in <laughs> Such a weird shape glass. Spritz with absinthe, a lemon peel as a garnish with lemon oils inside, and there you go. Boom! I rapid infused the Giant Walker Black with the coffee, ground coffee, just by using a ISI container. You know, charged it with nitrous and then let it rest for no more than 15 seconds. Shook it while that during that 15 seconds and then released the gas, and strained it out. I did the same thing for my bitters. I took five cinnamon sticks, crushed them, charged it for five seconds. Same thing with the ISI. And then for the mesquite wood uh, simple syrup, I took mesquite wood chips, put hot water in it, and let it steep for about 10 seconds and then strained out the water, mixed it with sugar, and so you, now you get a woody tasting simple syrup. Please give me notes 
on this? It has like really herbal, but Because uh, I'm submitting it on Monday. That's awesome. Sending. What? You're gonna do it too? Yeah. <laughs> Johnny, be good. I still gotta write my first essay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you gotta write an essay for it too? Richard, yeah. Damn. Damn. I like the presentation. I love the presentation. I don't know if I like the peel like that because it gets in your peel. nose and it gets in your face. Sure. I might clip it. Or, uh, well, you should have given me that too. I don't know. I mean, generally speaking, most people, when they drink, yeah. they pull the garnishes out anyway. Right. You know, so it's, whether or not it gets in somebody's face is not a big deal. Worry about the presentation, I think. Yeah. Um, and then, from what I'm from what I'm told from people in the past, it's like, make sure there's repeatability. Like, if it's too complex, if there's like 80 ingredients, yeah, that's not you're going to lose. It's four, but it's four, it's three infusions. So it's a mesquite wood chip symbol. It's a... Uh, Cinnamon Peshad and I'm sorry, Johnny. by the way. I didn't know. I, I wasn't no, paying, I paying I attention. I'm like, that's a cool glass. Dude, it was, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you think. One more table. It's beautiful. Yeah, so Good nose. That's mm -hmm. why it's like sticky. I wonder, because if they're going to, they're probably going to hold the glass. Probably not like that. Oh, <laughs> 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 okay, that's one of our five. Like that? Yeah, just them. All these guys are the same guy. They don't want to warm the glass. That's true. Cheers. Oh, I've tried it already. Yeah, I'll take some more. <laughs> oh, you haven't tried it? There you go, sir. Let me know. It smells like shit. Tastes like garbage. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna torch it. What is the camera always made more sense. Onion flour? Or what is it? I don't know. What it is. Oh. I have the bag though. What's this little tree? What is it? It's edible. Is it edible? Yeah, almost. No, I think it is edible. <laughs> that would be maybe would be fun. <laughs> no, it is because they're gonna. I don't know if that's actually the name Cushion. of it. Cushion. Yeah, I think that's the name. Yeah. What are you mixing for us today? Oh, do I need the name of the cocktail? Ah. <laughs> or you can name it afterwards, like so. Name it us. after. All right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see where it goes, and then <laughs> we'll name it after. Today, I just wanted to throw some really fresh veggies together. So I went with the bell pepper. I really like pairing bell pepper with tequila. I went with Azunia Reposado and I also used their agave. I added a little bit of chinar just to give it a little earthy feel to kind of go with that vegetile flavor. some saffron infused or jot, give it kind of like a nice spice to it. And then pesha bitter, so a little bit of floral on top, so you kind of get a little bit of everything. Refreshing, earthy, vegetile, a little bit floral as well. Use a little cushion flower. <laughs> people are just messing with my video, I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. I can't take these people seriously. <laughs> okay. He we wore the same shirt as me, and now he's in my video. Awesome. <laughs> he's the coolest dude in the world. <laughs> he's Carl. He's not. Uh, I was going to say also, so I really like making cocktails interactive. So with this one, I would always kind of suggest taking a sip from the bottom first and then mixing in the pay shouts. So you'll have like a really nice flavored cocktail, but then you add in the other aspect, which is going to be a little bit of the floral and it'll round it out really nice. Good. Is it different with the pay shouts mixed in? Tastes I don't know. Tastes yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably rounds it out. See, I mean, you, it's like you it, think it tastes good, but then you get that finish. Mm -hmm. This was a while ago. It's a tequila but it's sunrise. Heavy cardamom. Oh, that's bomb. <laughs> Tasty, right? Nailed it. So Nailed it. It's perfect. almost like you need to be diluted into some May I? That's all I can pick up with the cardamom. So this next drink was a creation by Celso, our host for the day, and one of the three minds behind the best drink ever. I forgot to shoot an interview with him, but I still got him to explain later what was in this cocktail. This is our cocktail, Jaguars and Pigs. This is a whiskey sour variation using Brazilian organic aged cachaça and the Vermont based Whistle Pig Rye, which we love. for using a honey lavender syrup as our sweetener. Finally, we added one bar spoon of passion fruit butter. So here it is, hope you enjoy. Drink 
seen him young. Shake, shake, shake. What are you making? Uh, this is my stinger variation with a buzz button infused sherry, so it actually stings you. Yeah, actually <laughs> really? So later that day, it got a bit more freestyle. People just mixing different stuff. We even went with the idea to do the challenges that they had proposed. Well, here's how that turned out. So the reason I infuse it is because I can temper the, 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 the potency of it, right? These are the four base ingredients that you need to include. If you have to complement it with anything else, that's all right, but these are the four that you need to include. Hey, it's a Mario. <laughs> it's a me. You gotta do the thing. What's the <laughs> I like to make a very serious exit. So let's taste it. You guys go for it. <laughs> what is that? Get the stash. You look like a walrus. Wait, can you lift it to your face again? Get the whole thing. That's weird. This is not it's quite, uh, it's plugged in. Everything else is working out of that. So, basically, Roku is like their staple for now. I don't know. I don't know. Skeet, skeet. I'm so happy I'm not in this competition. <laughs> Are you? Happy garnish. We're just saying like when I'm like by myself here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I pretend. <laughs> That's basically what we're gonna do. We heard back to. So. Uh, I should probably what do you yep, need? set it yeah. down. Maybe I'm gonna grab. Someone just said I'm dead. Uh, maybe just a little bit in there. Yeah. Oh god. Right, that's good. That, now we're going to add. There it is. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So let's. We're gonna pour a little bit of. You've got to open the bottle scotch first. here. So yeah. here we go. I love this. This is <laughs> lovely stuff here. So we're just gonna pour about two ounces in right into that. I'm trying to be. Okay, that's the cacao rum. I think maybe we'll do about an ounce. There it is. And right in. You're doing really well. Oh, my God. Here it is. Right. right there, yes. Just, we're going to pour a little bit in there. Okay. Perfect. So my, I need ice now. Let's, uh, let me grab oh. Maybe Charity can help me with the ice. No way, no, guys. Yeah. Not, not that. This, yes. <laughs> Let's pour some of that in there. Oh, my God. I will add the <laughs> portion, and I will shake this up now for you folks. Okay. Here we go, and we will shake it. <laughs> Just a little shake. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shaking. I love shaking. And that should be good. Now, let's see. Smell good. Um, or plastic. Uh, here's our glass. Yes. Ooh, a Thank you. Oh, God. And we will pour this <laughs> to the top. Over. Yes. A little more. Oh. <laughs> and there we have it, guys. This is the <laughs> Let me try it first. <coughs> it's a little spicy, but it's good on a hot day. We're gonna garnish this with maybe just some fresh citrus. Yeah, that good. We'll squeeze it. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs>
This is the, we're building this uh, company cocktail and me just. <laughs> 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 Cheers, guys! <laughs> uh, and scene. How is it? And scene. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But it's a lot of syrup. 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 I think it's just syrup. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Make sure to check all these people out on Instagram to see what they're working on next. I'll put their handles up on the vid. Well, that's about it for the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to The Best Drink Ever. I'll see you next time. Guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Thank you guys There's for our Thank you, Jenny Celso, for hosting us. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. I enjoy, uh, I enjoy our times together. <laughs>